Why am I looping my filaments over the spool holder? Well, all the Ender 3 series are known to have the spool holder on top of the gantry above here. And when you're printing and it will be wobbling, especially for higher prints, it might impact the print quality. I found this on Thingiverse, which is uploaded by Popo Fred, and this is a perfect solution to lighten up the weight and to remove the spool so that you can put it on a dry filament or a spool holder down there. And I just print it out. I'm just using PLA Plus for this, and when it's done, to install it is not hard. Only one additional part, which is the PTFE tube, is needed because everything else can be printed. Once done, I use a drill to just widen the holes. There are three holes for you to widen it so that the PTFE tube can go through. After that, it's just snap on for installation. Of course, this bottom part, just make sure that it's moving freely and the holes has to be widened as well as the PTFE tube will go through and acts as a pivoting point for the arm. So after drilling it through, let's try and make sure that the PTFE tube can go through and uh, don't go through all the way to the bottom. Alright, seems like it's working well. So what we need to do finally is just to thread it from uh, one side of the arm all the way to the last part. And the last part, make sure that the arms are going into the bottom bracket. And then just press the PTFE tube all the way through to the bottom. Once done, swivel it about to make sure that the arm can move freely. And the last part is just to string through some filament and we cut off the excess. The reason why we string through the filament is so that when we cut the PTFE tube, the inner circle, the inner hole of the PTFE tube is still round. Test it out and the filament should be gliding through the PTFE tube without much friction at all. If there's some friction, you can spray it with a PTFE dry loop. Finally, we just remove the original spool holder from the Ender 3 and insert this one and use back the original two screws and fasten it down. Remember not to tighten it too tightly because you might break the 3D printed part. Now we can just string through our filament, whether it's from the dry box or the filament roll holder. Just push it through the PTFE tube all the way down and then insert it into the extruder. Now that's done, your Ender 3 3D printer will be printing smoothly without having much wobble on the axis. I will print a few tall prints to test it out, but from the look of it, the print quality is so much better comparing to the original. And the beauty of it is, I can place my filament anywhere on the left, on the back or on the right. Of course, I'm printing right now, so I don't have enough cable to pull it all the way to the right side, but the swivel arm will do the job. Well, I hope that this video will help to solve your problem as well. A big shout out to Popo Fred for designing and uploading this to Thingiverse. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and put your comment below. For the other videos, please check out our channels.